Hey YouTube, I just thought that I would make this video because at the time of purchasing this compact hi-fi system, I didn't see a ton of information on it online. Basically, is it good? Is it not? You know, like, you know, a few opinions here and there and then uh, didn't really see too many videos or anything. So I just thought I'd throw in my take here. Um, what we're looking at is the SA, the Panasonic SAPMX90. Um, I just purchased this today on Amazon and I got it the same day. Um, I was looking at this and I was looking at the Denon, uh, I think it was a D, I can't remember the model number, the most recent Denon Hi-Fi system. I think they only have one not the Heos one, but the, the one that, that looks kind of like this. And uh, and it's basically double the price. And it's advertised as having uh, two-way speakers. So it's got tweeters and woofers. This one was advertised as having three-way. So it's got the uh, woofers here, the soft dome tweezer, tweeters, and what's advertised as the um, uh, piezo super tweeters. So for the even higher frequencies. Um, and then besides that, it was also specced in at 60 watts per channel. Um, but one thing I didn't look closely at, the 60 watts per channel is at 3 ohms. These are 3 ohm speakers. So that's a, that's a little cheesy, um, but that aside, um, uh, the, also the, uh, total harmonic distortion is uh, 10%, which is, uh, not great so so spec wise you know it doesn't it doesn't sound so good when you when you really drill down to it um but one thing that i did find and kind of prompted me to make the video was um uh these these super tweeters that that are advertised there's no sound that comes out of them on mine i stuck my ear right up to them right up to them now either both of these drivers or the crossovers failed in the factory, you know, coincidentally, and it could happen, or are they phony drivers? You know, like I've seen some white van speakers before have fake tweeters in them and, and everything just came out of the, the full range uh, driver and they just kind of threw in the tweeter to make it look high end kind of thing. But I mean, good God, is is that what is that what Panasonic did here? Did they <laughs> did they advertise a three way speaker with three drivers in it, and and one of them is there just for looks? I mean, I'm not going to void my warranty and and open this up and look, but but man, I'd like to I'd like to see that. I mean, so so that that kind of complaint aside, so I've actually I've actually sent a message to Panasonic about that to clarify. Like, are these real as advertised? Are these false? Is, are they, you know, like if they are real, okay, well, there's something wrong with mine, then, you know, I might have to do an exchange or something. But I'm going to put that part aside, <clears throat> my complaints. The complaints are out of the way first. I don't want to put you off any more than that because the truth is this is a really great sounding system. It It is. Um, in, in my listening so far, I've just had it today. I'm just kind of getting it all broken in, you know, um, it, the sound's only going to improve in time. I'm sure as the drivers, uh, you know, loosen up as the amplifiers get broken in, the amplifier gets broken in a little bit. I was torn because there's a, a step up model. Um, you're going to have to see what it is. It's like a, the PM 800, I think it is something along those lines, but it's, it was basically another couple hundred dollars more than this one, but looked exactly the same, except it had, um, a Technics um, chip in there, and I can't remember what it's called. You have to look on their website, but um, it's a um, supposed to be a step up as far as the amplification to this uh, audio file grade chip. And I'm like, you know, uh, it also had a built-in like Chromecast and AirPlay, so it's so I had networking built in too. But I, I just didn't think for the extra. Well, it was over two hundred dollar difference to justify the price jump because otherwise it, it looked pretty much the same. And, and I'm, I'm kind of glad I did with, went with that because I mean, this has optical in, so, uh, and it has USB. So 
you know, if I want high res audio, I want good good sounding audio. I can run an optical cable into here from a Chromecast audio, or I can plug it into my laptop and get that high res audio coming out. Um, but yeah, just to kind of go through, I don't want to get in trouble with uh, copyright or anything like that. So I'm not going to actually play any music, but um, what can I say? Um, the, the system I bought to replace um, a Klipsch the three uh, speaker, you can see it over here, oh, this guy here. Now, now that's a speaker I'm a big fan of. I mean, it is just beautiful and it hands down looks way nicer than the, the this system. I mean, it just does. But, um, but this had, you know, the extra features that I was looking for. This, this can play CDs. This can, has multiple inputs on it. Cause my, 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 the three, as it's called, is the Google assistant one that doesn't have any inputs. It's just Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So that kind of irked me, you know, you know, future proofing wise, wise, but, uh, so anyway, um, the thing about having something like the the clips there, it's 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 still a box. It's a single uh, single point. Uh, you're not going to get any sound stage on it. You don't get that stereo separation. So I thought this would work better in the kind of office that I wanted to put it in, and you get a bit of more stereo effect and, and everything. And and I heard I did hear it in the store, and I was quite impressed with it. So so uh, the bass is there. It's it's a bit a bit punchy. Um, it, I wouldn't say it's muddy, but I've almost, um, I, I did actually turn down the bass one tick, <laughs> which is something I don't usually do. And I, I found that that brought it right into a really nice kind of more balanced sound. Um, you've got uh, bass and treble controls right on the front here, uh, but it's actually got um, uh, a surround effect too, which actually kind of widens the sound stage. It, 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 you know, it's, it's decent. I've played with both. Um, uh, there's, there's certainly things to play with. There's EQ built-in presets and, and stuff. Um, now this will take, uh, CD, uh, Bluetooth. Uh, it takes optical. There is an auxiliary, um, like an auxiliary headphone jack and there is just so i'm not lying to you yeah there is um analog in uh, rcas and usb to hook up to a pc so lo lots of input options i mean yeah just a ton um i guess i can let you have a, a listen here see how smooth this is it's pretty nice nice nothing wrong with that it's quick put a disc in you can't hear the CD spinning, so I've I've heard about some of these mini systems that being a complaint where you uh, you can hear it when it's actually spinning. But listen, not that I want to play that too long, but it's just you know just music. You know you have to be right up uh, beside it to hear it. So yeah. Um, these are pretty substantial speakers. Uh, they got some good weight to them, you know. There's a good amount of good amount of flex in the in the drivers here. Uh, I should point out this is this is all solid aluminum. This is solid aluminum, you know. So it's it's well made. It's all all metal enclosure. Um, take a look around the back here. So what I'm not sure about yet is if these are caps that can be taken out so you can actually use banana plugs because that's my preference using speaker wire like this is stupid especially if i want to move this around and you know quickly unplug the speakers and then just you know you know say i'm taking this to the cabin or something like that i want to be able to quickly pop it in and out so so that's that's an idea um but yeah you got your analog auxiliary optical usb yeah, that's, uh, that's all your wired inputs there. And then you got your antenna down here, which I haven't hooked up yet. Detachable power cord. Um, nice finish to it. Good weight. It's, I think they said it was, uh, I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna make up the specifications. Just go check the manual for yourself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, that, that's kind of all I wanted to say about it. Um, I. 
you know, if, if this driver thing doesn't work out, I don't think I'm going to take it back just for that, but it's just, you know, if it's advertised, you know, don't make it up. <laughs> so, um, we'll just, we'll just see what kind of, kind of comes of that. But, uh, but I, I'm impressed so far. I, I think it's really nice. I think, I think right for the price that I paid for it, um, you know, on Amazon, I paid, um, I believe it was about 340 Canadian. So I think that's, that's a really nice for what you're getting. Really, really nice considering, you know, um, yeah, um, something like that, that clipsh over there uh, cost more than this did when it was new, you know, so, uh, but to be fair, you know, it's like a walnut enclosure and aluminum and, you know, it's clipsh and, you know, so it tends to cost a little bit more. So, you know, pick, pick what works best for you, but uh, I'm, I'm going to give this a, a trial for a while. I'll try for a while. Anyway, thanks for listening to me rant on and hopefully this has been helpful in your choosing of a, of a uh, mini hi-fi system. Thanks. See ya.